Now please stand for the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, and justice for all. Get ready for ACIT's Hawk Talk, the show that lets you know. Good morning and welcome to today's edition of Hawk Talk. The show that lets you know. I'm Matt O'Toole. And I'm Kaylani Foster. Calling all Red Hawks. There are only 50 yearbooks left for sale. Buy yours now before it's too late or before the price increases to $60 on February 19th. Are you interested in playing boys volleyball, baseball, or softball? You will need to turn in a sports participation packet by today. Juniors Dominic Marsh and Amanda Schwartz teamed up at a Scotch Doubles on tournament on Friday to win second place high game with a 217. They bested 56 other teams from 13 different schools. Congrats! Bring in your cereal boxes for the Atlantic City Rescue Mission during the month of February. Please give all boxes to Miss C in the cafeteria. Any student interested in volunteering to work for Back to School Night this coming Tuesday, February 23rd, please return your permission slip today to the main office. Any student who likes event planning, who is good at social media, and enjoys making videos, join the Make It Green Club. All students involved with this club will be a part of creating a statewide event, Slam Dunk the Junk. That takes place on Atlantic City Boardwalk on Wednesday, May 25th. Get a permission slip from the Blue Ribbon Wall and plan to attend our first meeting on Tuesday, February 23rd. See you then! The baseball team is currently accepting applications for qualified students to fill the baseball manager positions. So step up to the plate if you are interested. See Coach Anthony or Coach Wolf for more details. The JROTC team did awesome in a multi-state drill competition in Glasgow, Delaware. Our JROTC drill team took in many wins for Team ACIT. Get ready for the show, baby. Tudis is going to make it rain. Last Saturday, our JROTC program successfully competed against other regional programs in Glasgow drill competition in Delaware. The ACIT competed against several teams from the Northeast states in the areas of academic challenge, team personal inspection, team exhibition, unarmed color guard, team unarmed regulation, and armed color guard. ACIT won first place in academic challenge, team personal inspection, and team exposition. The team won third place in unarmed color guard. We had the chance to talk to the former group commander, Jay Mathis. The drill competition last weekend was very hectic. A lot of our competitions were back to back, so it was not a lot of time for practice. But we managed to pull it through, even though a lot of our team members were, all, were stretched out on a lot of different teams. But we came together as a family, and we took home some gold. So I couldn't be happier. They were exhausted, number one. But they understood why we drilled them so much in practice and why we get so frustrated when things get messed up. It's because it's for, it's for a good reason and because there's so much relief and reward and hard work. Chief? just sits on the sidelines and gives us uh, words of motivation. He usually lets uh, us, the student leaders, take over and handle the business so that he can just watch and let us prosper and grow as students and cadets. Pretty rowdy trip to McDonald's afterwards, I must say. We should be proud of all participating cadets for their overall preparation, execution, and professionalism. This was a great win for our JROTC team, and congrats to everyone who participated in it. Do you know how much pollution affects us in our daily life? Yes. Well, as some ACIT kids like to say it, pollution isn't the solution. CIT kids are right. Pollution isn't the solution. Let's try to do our best as a school and try to eliminate pollution altogether. Friday, February 5th, ACIT held its famous talent show. Let's see some of the highlights and talk to the winner. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2016 ACIT's Got Talent. If you give a damn about me. Thank you. 
Congratulations. How did it feel to win the talent show? It was an awesome experience to work with everyone, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, so you performed Kamina's Aria, which is German opera. What made you choose this? Um, so this summer I went to Germany to perform opera at churches and schools, and it, it was an awesome experience. And I really like that song because it has like these cool, um, like I, I don't know, it's like a lot of notes in it. It's just a lot of fun to sing, and yeah. Uh, how long have you been singing opera, and how did you get into it? Um, I've actually only been singing for a year now, so uh, I got into it because my grandma told me, "Oh, Felicia, just go take some singing lessons." I'm like, eh, "I don't really want to," and then I got there, and I'm like, "Oh, this is kind of cool." <laughs> Does your family have any background in opera? No. <laughs> I'm the only musical one. <laughs> Are you planning to continue singing opera in the future? Yes. I am auditioning college this weekend for singing. So, in what ways? I love to perform, so hopefully I can perform for the rest of my life. Well, as you can see, practice makes perfect, and grandma's no best. As a fellow first place winner, it pays to show off your talents. That's all the hot topics from the Red Hawk Nest. See you next week, Red Hawks. Have a great weekend.